Okay, thought I'd talk a little bit today about the Magic Voice cartridge. And this is a, it's a really neat cartridge. Uh, actually, had one just like it when I was a kid, but uh, this one's one I've purchased since then. But uh, this goes into the back just like it would be a, a regular cartridge. And then something else could go into it if you chose, like that. Or you can use it as standalone for, uh, for your own software. And where it's cool is uh, there are a few cartridges out there uh, that were made to work with this Magic Voice, either with it or, or without it. And uh, one of them I have over here, Gorf. Get that out. And uh, Gorf, that's one of my favorites anyway. That's a, a great game. But this cartridge supports the Magic Voice. So let's take a look at it first without the Magic Voice. All right, here we go. And you'll see in a minute, if you had it in, in there, it would actually be speaking at this point. So let's give it a whirl. Oh, here we go. You know what? I do not have the sound hooked up. There's a the problem. <laughs> because I had it in here previously, uh, I need to plug that into the, the back here. Yeah. You know? A little better, okay. All right. Ooh. Martian potato. Oh, he's gone. Obligatory spaceship. Yeah. Not good at this game. First level looks like a Space Invaders clone, except it's got the shield going over there. Good game, but so if you haven't tried it, give it a whirl. And uh, let's see what it looks like uh, with the Magic Voice installed. So, the other good thing about this cartridge is it turns it into a, an easy way to plug your cartridges in and out. They make the cartridge uh, direction changers. You could buy those online, but uh, that also serves that purpose as well. Okay, let's see if we can hear it okay. Uh, you'll notice the volume for the voice is is uh, less than the volume for the other sound effects that are coming out of the SID chip. It'll give a demo of the gameplay here in a moment. Of course, you got your space potato there at the top. The first level looks like a, a Space Invaders knockoff, and the second level, this one, kind of is reminiscent of Galaga, where they actually uh, dive down at you. This is what the third level looks like. So it, it's a pretty neat game, and it's even neater with the voice added to it. And of course, as it gets you, he'll, he'll do the taunts and, and, and that sort of thing. But what this cartridge also points out is, as you'll notice, when it first started up, it said uh, Gorf by Bolly Midway. Now, if you look at the vocabulary of this, cab, of this uh, cartridge, the Magic Voice cartridge, it doesn't have that. Those aren't words, uh, the word Gorf's not in there, and Bali is not in there. So this this can be altered in what it can say. I've never seen any instructions how to do that. I'm sure they're out there somewhere, but if you happen to know, let me, let me know. Uh, but I wish I could expand upon the vocabulary that's in the Magic Voice, because it only comes with uh, a few words, and it's it, it, it would be great if it was something like Sam, which is an infinite, infinite uh, vocabulary. There's the first level. 
Yeah, this is a neat game. Let me uh, let me try it here. I'll let him hit me. Space Cadet. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, I thought it was worth uh, mentioning that this is one of the cartridges. Wizard of War is another one. I think there's a spelling cartridge that also works with the Magic Voice. Other than that, I'm not sure if there's anything else out there that does. But this is a, it's a cool game, even alone, uh, without the Magic Voice. But, but with it, it's even cooler. So right out of the box, it has 235 words that it can say. And other words can be added in another way. I'm not sure how to do it because when you play the Gorf game, it definitely says words that are not in the vocabulary that comes with it out of the box. So I know it can be done. I'm just not sure how to do it. I wish I did. So if you knew, uh, if you knew how to do that, let me know. Okay, so... Uh, with what it can say out of the box, if you wanted to add it into your own programs, you could do it like this. You can say a number. Nine. Or you can say a word if you put it in quotations. So we'll, we'll just, uh, for the sake of argument, we'll just say the letter M. It's in quotations. It'll pronounce it. M. Okay. So each word that it can say also has a numerical value as well. So the letter M is also 90. So if we do it this way, M. it says the letter M, because M is, is the, uh, has the value of 90 in its vocabulary. Uh, you can do, let's see, I don't know if this is in there. Commodore. There you go. So let's just get an idea of, of some of the words it could say. I'll just have it go through and pronounce uh, from 0 to 234 numerically, uh, numerical value for each word, I should say. And we'll have it go through each one. So uh, to do that, just have to write a, a little program. Zero. Whoop. Forgot my line number on that one. About to do that again. Okay. Yeah, that should work. Let's try this. So we'll just set the variable A as zero, and it'll say whatever the variable is. So when it starts, it should be zero, and then it'll increment each time. So A equals A plus one. So now the value of A will be one more than it was. I'll have it print out the value so you can see what it's saying, uh, which number value it's saying, and then we'll have it return back and start over. We should get all the way up to 234. Zero, one, two, Thanks. 
small, terrific, dry letter. First, second, third, color, black, white, red, cyan, purple, green, blue, yellow, orange, brown, gray, light, E, hour, she, we, you, come, give, put, set, take, work, until, may, over, dark, command, computer, control, cursor, disk, down, game, key, left, load, name, play, press, program, right, run, say, stop, symbol, take, up, wait, hour. Okay, and that's where it bombs out on on the, uh, the last word of the vocabulary. So out of the box, this is, this is what it comes with. Uh, comes with, uh, of course, the unit itself, and then this wire. Now if you look at uh, one side, that goes into where a monitor goes on your Commodore 64 here, and it, but it's only got audio. So you'll notice there's no video going out. So if you plug it in there, there's no way you can use the monitor's uh, connection to actually go to something like this or a, uh, a Commodore monitor. What they're counting on, it's I guess during the time that they sold it, uh, would be for you to go to an audio source with this, like maybe a home stereo or something else, and then use the RF adapter coming out that goes to a television. Uh, in this case, what I've got is I, I did not use the wire that came in it. I used a, uh, a wire I had that just has RCA connections on this side and the other side. And uh, if you look on the side, you got two things here. Now, if you, if you look real closely in the plastic, I don't know if you could see it on here or not, you have an input and an output side. So it should go from... The comp if you're going to use a, a connection like this where I have composite uh, going out of the monitor connection of the C64 to a more modern television, I have the uh, wire going straight out of here into the input here, and then the and another one going from the output uh, from the Magic Voice to the television. And that's how I've got this one hooked up. So anyway, that's just a quick look at the Commodore Magic Voice. A really neat cartridge if you can find one. They have the same shape as uh, as another one that, that does sound effects uh, or music. I forget what it is. I don't have that one. Still looking for it. But yeah, neat, neat cartridge. All right, until next time.